There are a growing number of children coming in from foreign nations that have very, very different public policies about the human body, human sexuality, reproductive systems, and openly we know that in certain countries they limit the number of children that people can have. Thankfully in America we still have tons of land that has not been, God bless us, produced upon, meaning has not been built up in any way, has not been put a house on, not put, put a commercial structure on. We have a lot of buildings that do need to come down or need to be refortified so they don't fall down. We also have a lot of buildings that are archaic in their construction and dangerous for people to live in because there's too many nooks and crannies where self-defense is really essential from the violators of American rights. American rights to safety is certainly something we have to talk about today. I used to teach actually women's predominantly self-defense classes and self-preservation classes and I should still have in a storage locker somewhere the actual carbonless pages that I wrote legally of what the class was about, what they could and couldn't do with the information and how they could and couldn't abuse me with them, what they were learning. I'm not liable for any opportunity that they failed to protect themselves. But that's not the point. The point is that in America we have the right to safety of our human body. The whole purpose behind a women's self-defense class or a men's self-defense class or a gay person's self-defense class or whatever is the truth. We have the right to safety. The right to safety says, you don't have the right to my sexuality. You don't have the right to rape me. You don't have the right to investigate my internal organs. You don't have the right to my sex organs. You do not have the right to see any part of me unless I choose to disrobe myself in front of you in an appropriate situation such as a medical doctor situation where I've chosen you to look at me or in terms of an intimate situation where I'd like you to look at me despite my, what I might humbly look like to you or, God forbid, to me.